Hi, I'm George. New to the object menu over here in CorelDRAW 2021 is the new Draw in Perspective. Just go ahead and we'll bring this up. Now with this, you get several different ways of placing a perspective grid. You can then draw onto that grid. Now keep in mind that this is not making a three-dimensional object. You're only drawing in a perspective space. We have one point. We'll do this. Pull down a grid like that. There we go. Once you have your grid in position, you can adjust the view of the grid. That's this stuff right in here. Show or hide the horizon right there. You can show or hide your lines right here. You can adjust the opacity of your horizontal line and the color right there. You can adjust the number of lines in here, your density. There you go. Or type in a specific number. I'll go back to 15 again. And the opacity of your radial lines and the color of your radial lines right there. So this whole section right in here is just how the grid looks in your perspective space. Over here, we tell CorelDRAW which face we'll be drawing on. Now, in a one point, you'll have a flat face, the orthographic view that's facing you, and then you'll have a side or a top on that, depending. I'm going to pull my horizon line here up. You can readjust this just by dragging your perspective point around like that. Leave it right there. We'll do our forward face here, and I'll grab the shape tool. This time, I'll just use the rectangular tool, and I'll put a shape just like that, and we'll give that a color. There we go. Go back to our shape tool again. Let's change this to a top right here and I'll go right on top of that corner node right there and I'll pull that over and we'll pull out a shape like this. Now it's not going to necessarily fit exactly. You may have to come in here and adjust your size a bit for it to fit. Looks pretty good right there. Give that a color. There we go. And I'll change to the side over here. Same thing. I'll come right onto that node and I'll draw from that node. Now it may go crazy like that. So if it's jumping out of bounds, just slow down a little bit and then readjust once you have the shape drawn on, and there we go. Now, when you're happy with your drawn shape, click on finish, and there it is. It comes in as just one group, as you can see right here. And again, it's not a three-dimensional object, so I can't rotate this thing around anything like that. It's just a perspective drawing. Okay, let's just delete that. Let's do one in two point, back up to object, come down to perspective and draw in perspective. Let's change this to a two point. Same thing, I'll just pull this grid right onto our page like that. And let's pull this horizon line up again. Let's do a top in here. There we go. Notice how it fits that grid. It works into the grid. Let's do a left-hand side. I'll come right onto that node right there. Here's our left-hand side. Let's do a right-hand side. Same thing on that same node right there. Do the right-hand side. Again, it's off by a little bit, so I'll just grab this now and I'll adjust that bottom length and we can give each side a different color top color here and give it this side a color there we go again when you're happy click on the finish and there is your new perspective drawn shape same idea for the three point perspective that just also has a vanishing point above or below and well, i wouldn't have parallel sides those sides would then go up to a vanishing point as if you're looking up at a building or looking down from the sky at a building. If you want to edit your perspective, come down here, click on Edit Perspective. It brings back your grid. You can then edit that particular object. If you click on a different side, notice how the grid in behind changes to match the side that we want to edit. You can also place existing shapes onto a grid. Let's just get rid of this piece right here. Hit that Delete key. Let's make a new perspective grid. Object, Perspective, and Draw Perspective. I'll leave this at the one point. And I'll pull a new grid in just like that. There we go. Let's now take this object and I'll drop it over here someplace. Just like that, make it just a bit taller, just for some variety. There we go. Now this is the orthographic view, so that's where I want it. Let's now grab our next shape. Let's make this one a top shape. I'll pull it in here, put it right there, right click, and move to plane, and move that to the top plane. Okay, now pull that down, and let's adjust our size a little bit here, and then drop that into the top, right on top of this existing front shape. Now, it may take a little bit of going back and forth to get your dimensions just right, but it's not that hard to do. Let's now put this one in as a side shape. Again, drag it in, right click, move to plane, side plane. There we go. Same thing. Just come in here and adjust the size of the shape to fit. There we go. We've now added these three shapes onto a perspective grid.